Hey guys, this is Vemza with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use text gradients to make ordinary text look a lot better than they usually do. Um, start with some text. Uh, and then once you've done that, just you can select your fonts by just clicking on the text tool, uh, making sure your text is highlighted and then you can kind of go through your fonts, choose one that's suitable for you. I'm just going to stick to this font. Uh, once you've done that, you double click on your text layer and then once you've done that, you select gradient overlay. Now what this does is it sets you up to create a gradient for your text. If you watch my previous tutorial on how to create gradients for backgrounds, this is kind of the same thing but just for text. Um, you can select uh, previously made gradients. Here's one I made in the last tutorial. Um, or what you can do is just create your own gradients as you go. I like to use the preset, um, this preset one, black to white. Um, once I select that, I can obviously change the colors. Um, what I'll go for a red as I, my font was already red. Um, if you watch the previous one again, um, stick to the same kind of principle, um, a lighter color to the left and then a darker color to the right, so I'll choose like a bloody dark red for the right hand side. Um, you, there's no need to play with the gradient types, um, types or smoothness, that's fine. So once you've created your gradient, um, you can play around with the style. Um, I tend to like linear, which kind of gives a, a the dark to light kind of uh, feeling um, but there's also a radial radial which is kind of you kind of get a, a ball a spotlight in the middle of your text and kind of gets darker as it moves out on both si on both sides um, you've got angle uh, you can also play with the angles as well which kind of determines where the cut point is um, you've also got reflected which kind of reflects outwards um, and you've got diamond which is not too dissimilar from radial like I said I like to stick to linear and 90% uh, um, once you've done that you can add other layers like options I like to just add a, a, sh a stroke which kind of just gives it uh, a nice touch and this is pretty much ready to be used as a logo. Um, if you watched the previous tutorial, you'll know about making backgrounds, background um, gradients. So you just select the background um, and then select your gradient tool. And you can make a nice background for your text as well. And yeah, like I said, this is ready to be a logo. So if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, don't forget to subscribe.